Welcome to the Muslim Money Experts, your trusted voice for Islamic finance, education and awareness. Hundreds of billions are donated every year to charitable causes and yet world hunger still persists, global homelessness is still rampant and there are many people each year who cannot get access to basic healthcare. This really begs the question, how can we make our donations have a more significant, lasting and sustainable impact? The answer isn't in some new age technology based on AI or even something that doesn't already exist. We need to turn back the times to the golden age of Islam. This is where the concept of waqf comes in, a powerful yet often overlooked means of giving that creates lasting legacies and sustainable change. In this video we will break down what a waqf is, share how Muslims through the ages used it to benefit their communities and make the case for why we need to revive the use of awqaf to build a better world for future generations. A waqf is an Islamic endowment used for charitable or religious purposes. The term waqf is derived from the Arabic root word waqafa which means to detain or to hold. Simply put it's an asset or cash donated to be held in perpetuity which means forever and is used to generate income. The profits earned from the donation will keep supporting the cause you care about so the donation continues to help people even after it's given away. To give you a practical example, let's say you own some land that you wanted to donate to support education for underprivileged children. Instead of selling that land to, for cash which you then donate, you could establish a waqf. Here's how that would work. You transfer the land to a waqf trust. The trust is an individual or an organization who has been entrusted with taking care and maintaining the waqf. This trust rents out the land and uses the rental income it generates to fund scholarships for underprivileged children, for example. This sustainable source of support continues indefinitely, providing generations of children with access to quality education, inshallah. It's also worth noting that in Islam, a waqf is considered a form of sadaqa jariya, or ongoing charity. The Prophet ﷺ famously said, when a man dies, all his good deeds come to an end, except three. Ongoing charity, beneficial knowledge they taught, and a righteous child who prays for them. There is also a hadith where the Prophet ﷺ encouraged Umar ibn al-Khattab to establish a waqf. Not only that, it was narrated by Jabir ibn Abdullah that every companion who had the capacity should establish a waqf. Now that we've understood the concept of a waqf, let's take a trip through history to witness the lasting impacts a waqf can bring. During the Prophet ﷺ's lifetime, there was a drought that caused wells to dry up. Therefore, to obtain water, the Muslim community had to pay to use the well of Ruma. This well, however, was owned by a non-Muslim who charged a hefty fee for its service. And due to this financial strain, the Prophet ﷺ promised a reward in Jannah for the one who would purchase the well on behalf of the Muslims. Uthman ibn Affan an bought the well on behalf of the Muslim community and to this day it is the oldest surviving waqf. Its legacy has since expanded with a hotel in Medina and a bank account set up in Uthman an's name to this day. Half of the money in the account is donated to charity while the other half is reinvested. It has been reported that the money paid out is over 50 million Saudi riyals each month, equivalent to $13.3 million. This is a prime example of a waqf and the magnificent impact a waqf can have on serving the community for a lengthy period of time. Just imagine how much reward Uthman is generating with his charity from over 1400 years ago, still going strong. Now that you know what a waqf is, here's why you should consider establishing a waqf. There are three significant advantages to waqf. Waqf delivers sustainable impact. Firstly, unlike one-time donations, a waqf continually generates income from its endowed assets providing ongoing support for the chosen cause. Secondly, awqaf can be instrumental in building resilient and self-sufficient Muslim communities by effectively allocating resources to create lasting, positive change. 
They can fund mosques, schools, universities, healthcare, social services, or even general economic development. Waqfs create a lasting legacy. The ongoing income from a waqf creates a lasting legacy for the donor, amplifying the blessings you gain from your initial donation and continue to benefit you even after your death. Allah promises in the Quran to multiply the rewards for the charity you give. Just imagine how much greater these rewards are or could be when your charity continues to grow and provides benefits to others over time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Indeed, those men and women who give in charity and lend to Allah a goodly loan will have it multiplied for them and they will have an honorable reward. In recent times, we have seen a shift towards individualism. Our societal mindset has moved towards prioritizing the self, often at the cost of our communities. This shift, as well as the need for immediate gratification, has led to a decline in the establishment of Al-Qaq. When we give charity, we want to see it uh, immediately in its impact, without thinking strategically. Al-Qaq rely on the fundamental premise of thinking beyond our immediate needs and considering the larger community for a longer time. It's about using our wealth today to secure a better tomorrow for future generations. So as we progress in our lives, it becomes increasingly important to reflect on our contributions to society and how we can create sustainable change. We need to get back to serving our communities. And one way to do that is to revive the use of Oka. Wealth ultimately belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those of us that have been blessed with wealth will be held responsible for how we spent it. It's time for us to start getting smart about how we donate. As Muslims, we must consider establishing and supporting Al-Qaf to strengthen our communities and create that lasting change. By doing so, we can leave a lasting impact on the world, creating a brighter future for generations to come and gain good deeds that continue to benefit us even after our deaths. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video beneficial. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Stay blessed, and we'll see you in the next one, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.